another Minecraft video. Today I will be showing you how to make a color combination lock. So let's take a look at it. So this is what it looks like. So let's get building it. So first I should probably show you how it works. So this is our color, so this is our combination. So I need to enter this by pressing this button. You see, I have a little door over here. Well, wall. Emerald block. And then the store opens. Oh my god, right. And then I press this button. And it randomizes. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So let's build it. So the items you're going to need are a bunch are repeaters, sticky piston, I mean pistons, droppers, comparators, hoppers, redstone torches, redstone dust, quartz, well, any type of block, sticky pistons, furnaces, any type of button, levers, rails, and activator rails. So then you're going to want a eight, by 13 area that is two blocks deep. I so now you have your two deep eight by 13 hole. So I already told you what items you'll be needing. So start by um, placing a block right here. You're going to want a repeater. Going into five pieces of redstone dust. And then repeater's coming out of that. So that's how we're gonna leave that right now. Then do that, that. Take a redstone torch. Place it right there, so don't worry, those are supposed to activate. Now we are going to make an etho clock. So just place a piece of redstone there, go two blocks, that, so two blocks and there, then you're going to want some sticky pistons, uh, and right here you also want it to be a two block hole with redstone torches in it. You're going to want comparators, hoppers, so you're going to want to just do this. And if you're wondering what this is right now, this is what's called an etho clock. I'm probably wanting for this thing to turn off. So then just place a block right there and a torch that'll stop it. And then take half slabs. 
and then go one, two, three, four, and then you're going to want some droppers, more hoppers, so dropper, 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 drop hopper. Then you're going to want your comparator again, and then just send it into there. This is your toggleable T flip flop. Now, over here, you're actually going to want some more droppers and toppers. So then go dropper, 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 dropper. Dropper, hopper, 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 and then just throw a stack of any item. Well, a single item of any type. Or you can do a stack, I'm just doing single. So, one, two, three, four. So, in the end, you'll need a total of five. Then you're going to want a bunch more comparators. Running into blocks. That have pistons on top. That, and then you're going to want repeaters, dust, and blocks. So, repeater. Dust, repeater, dust, repeater, block, 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 dust, repeater, dust, repeater, dust, going into block, 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 I'm pretty sure right here it's just solid repeaters, let me go check, yep. So then do that, some torches, going all across there, these, I'm pretty sure it goes like this, and then one taller, right? So, right here, this is all we're going to do with this for now, okay? This is all that's going to happen with this right now. So then, we come down here. Then, so, for this step, you're only going to need blocks, pistons, and whatever non-movable object you have. So then, build frame that has a total of four blocks in the center then right here we're going to need furnace right here we want the piston to be facing no. this way Push this up. This pushes out. Up. No. So up. Okay. So then this one points down. Furnace. Oh wait, no, this needs to go one further down. That's way too high. That, that looks better. Then, that doesn't mean this guy needs to go down. And this goes this, this, this way. This way. Now, we 
just need the one that pushes it back that way. To all of those who say this is simple, right now, that's why. This is actually complicated. <laughs> See if I built that right. Then you're just going to want to go ahead. Wrong way. And this is for a five color combination lock. Four by four, I mean that two by two frame was actually just so you could put everything in the right spot. So now you can break it. That was just temporary. So now we need to actually get these all powered. So right here, we're going to need slabs. So want blocks on top of these pistons. Redstone torches. Then more blocks. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh wait, no. Those are supposed to be on top of the furnaces. Oh, those are supposed to be slabs. these are meant to fire. That means you did it correctly. Yeah. And then also remember oh, to have repeaters. And this time they need to actually be on two ticks. <laughs> Sorry. are two tick repeaters. Okay. Now, this is actually stuff we should have done quite a while ago. Go into the transportation tab, grab the powered rails and activator rails. And make sure it goes powered rail, activator rail. Power rail, activator rail. That is very important. Now you can just fill this area up with whatever block you're using. And then also, so you're going to want some droppers. A button of any type. So grab your droppers. I just do it like this so you don't have to look at the face of them. Now you also want redstone. This can just be any block that can be powered, but I use redstone lamps just so it like indicates when it's working. So now 
this is the actual system, so. See? Then you're gonna wanna put in your blocks. So, I'll just go quartz stone for mine. And make sure you skip that corner. Now, if you click the button. Oh, wait. Oops. Forgot one. Got one of the connections. And that is the one to these pips. Ain't no, not those. These. So right there just needs to be blocks and repeaters. Repeater, 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 repeater. Block, 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 block. Okay, now that should be working. See. Now you have the piston feed tape, which is how you actually change them. And you can actually spam this button. Sometimes it won't activate, but it does work. So then, just repeat your pattern all the way over. There's one last step to actually making it so it has the code in it. So you're going to need your quartz, well, whatever block slabs. So let's get some slabs. And then you're going to want top half slabs in the center of this. Going all the way through. And then slabs, and then more slabs, then repeaters, and some redstone. And then actually, I'm just going to break this layer of quartz, repeaters, levers, because these repeaters just always need to be powered. Then you will take more repeaters. So then, you're going to want to invert the signal. If it's for something that you want to power on when the code is correct or something, and then you don't invert the code if you want it to power off when the code is correct. And then also you're going to want stairs. <clears throat> of course mine will be quartz. Okay. So now I'm just going to hook up a basic redstone door, okay? And then also, right now I just kind of want you to like build your own frame for this. Just make sure it doesn't interrupt any of the actual redstone stuff. So I'm just going to build a pretty basic frame. Going to need some glass. Actually, no, this will be right in front of the actual piece. Actually, these I'm going to make glowstone. So just add a button right here for randomizing it. That's why you have the toggle T flip flop. And make sure you have a block in your T flip flop. Okay, 
So now, my code is just stone. My code will just be, um. I'll just make my code oaks all across the board for this. This is just a demonstration. So then, make sure the stairs are where the block would be getting powered. And then, so then there, so then, that's what the code will be. So, because as soon as I flip this to be off of oak, this gets powered. And then, my door will close. And we don't want that, because we want to get access to, like, whatever I'm hiding. So then, let me switch it back to oak. And then, that turns off. And I'll just hook up a door so you can see it happening live. And as you can see, it's not even a multiplayer server. I'm just in the single player world. So you're going to want... I'm just hooking up a basic redstone door. You do not need to do this door. You can do literally anything you want to. I'm just going to mess up the code. Then it realizes that the code was messed up and closes the door. Now let's fix the code.